Here is a second property of expectation and it is that the expected value operator is a linear operator. The theorem states that given a random variable x and notice we're not saying if x is discrete or continuous this applies to both cases and also a real constant c then the expected value of cx is c times the expected value of x basically what it's saying is that this constant c can be pulled out front of the expectation here is the proof as before we're going to do this in the continuous case only you should think a little bit about what would happen for a discrete random variable x replacing these summations i'm sorry replacing these integrals by summations so the expected value of c times x is the expected value of c times x and you know from before that that c times x is simply going to appear here out front of f of x in the integrand because we are doing this generally we have our support running from minus infinity to infinity so that will cover the entire support script a dx notice that the c does not involve x so it can be brought out front and now we have the integral from minus infinity to infinity of x f of x dx will you recognize that integral as the expected value of x and that proves the result